What's up everyone, this is Cybernet 8610 and today we have a few cards I want to talk about from the next challengers, or new challengers. Anyway, uh, these are just three that I chose I want to talk about. There are plenty of cards revealed, I believe the whole uh, card set was revealed for the OCG, and uh, yeah, just tell me uh, what cards you want me to talk about that I haven't talked about yet, if there are any, and I'll try to get to those as soon as possible. Also, in the anime review, I might be a day late on that, I was wanting to get that out tonight. Probably end up doing that tomorrow because I'm kind of behind on a lot of stuff, have a lot of stuff going on, so I'll try to get that... Uh, tomorrow. Anyway, uh, here's three different cards I want to talk about. First off, we have Elmatero Blazeman. Uh, first off, I'm really surprised to see another Elmatero card. I kind of figured after uh, after Hero Strike Structure deck that uh, we wouldn't see any more heroes for quite a while, so this is actually a, a very nice surprise. But there is a negative. Of course, this is another one of those exclusives. That means it will be in the OCG version of this pack, Japanese set, but it will not be in our version of this pack. I'm thinking maybe when we get the Hero Strike Structure deck instead of Stratos, it could possibly include this card. But, that's again, that's just a guess. I mean, no confirmation on anything uh, of that. We don't even know 100% if we're getting the Hero Strike Structure deck, but more than likely we will. Anyway, let's go ahead and read off its effect and everything. It is a Fire Attribute, level 4 Warrior, 1,200 Attack, and uh, 1,800 Defense. If this card is normal or special summon, you can add one Polymerization from your deck to your hand. You can send one Elemental Hero Monster from your deck to the Graveyard, except Elemental Hero Blazeman. This card's Attribute, Attack, and Defense become the Attribute, Attack, and Defense of the Monster sent to the Graveyard by this effect. Until the end of this turn, uh, if you activate an effect, you cannot switch summon monsters for the rest of this turn except fusion monsters. You can only use one Elemental Hero Blazeman effect per turn, only once that turn. Uh, yeah, this is a freaking awesome edition of Elemental Heroes. And this is also another one of Elemental Heroes that it's like they're giving to us that kind of replaces Stratos. So that's pretty good too. Uh, I find it kind of funny that I actually mentions polymerization. I, you don't really see too many hero decks these days. They're more competitive, again, that uh, use polymerization. It's mainly, of course, Miracle Fusion and other things. So it's kind of cool to actually see one that uh, can use polymerization. So that's kind of interesting. It makes me wonder if we might actually see uh, hero decks actually using polymerization again. Other than that, this card has some other great abilities because you're able to, of course, uh, send elementaries from the deck to the graveyard, which can help out if you're setting up plays for a Miracle Fusion. And not only that, it can actually mass change whenever it becomes that. So you can send Shadow Mist to the graveyard and then mass change your dark. Dark Law, for example, or of course, you know, there's many other combinations with that, but yeah, I mean, that's just pretty crazy in itself, because it you can bring out a fusion monster like that. So I was kind of wondering, I did some reading to make sure I was right on that, and supposedly that is possible. You can actually mass change, which I figured it would, I mean, considering, again, Hero Strike coming out recently, with all these masked heroes, I mean, come on, the, the new card has to work with them, right? And uh, yeah, it's an awesome card all in all, I cannot wait until this comes out for us TCG, and again, I know, same theme song on this, I hope that it won't be too long of a wait. Now, after that, we have Zayborg the Mega Monarch. I didn't know if this one would be the next one or Kuraz. Maybe Kuraz the next, and then Caius. I have a feeling Caius will be last for some reason. Anyway, you have another Mega Monarch, which is Zayborg, which looks pretty cool. Let's see, it's 2,000 attack, 1,000 defense. He's light, of course. And uh, its effect is you can tribute summon this card by tributing one tribute summon monster. When this card is tribute summon and target one monster on the field, destroy that target. If it was a light monster, each player sends number of cards from their extra deck to the graveyard equal to the destroyed monster to level or rank. If this card was tribute summoned by tributing a light monster, add this additional effect. You choose the cards into the graveyard from your opponent's extra deck. Although he's a cool monarch, he's, you know, has some kind of negative stuff with his regular form as well. Uh, this one is kind of a negative in a way because uh, you pretty much, it really works if you're of course going against something that uses light monsters. And that's not always going to be the case, you know, it seems like you're going to get the full power of this card when you against light monsters, is what I should say. And uh, yeah, it has a pretty interesting effect, being able to send stuff from the extra deck to the graveyard, especially if you tribute a light monster for it and everything. That's actually pretty cool, especially get, when you get to choose, you know, the the monsters that your opponent sends to the extra deck, that can actually uh, devastate a lot of different players. It seems a little situational, but I actually kind of like this card in a way too, so I'm kind of indifferent about it at the moment. I kind of want to test it out as I uh, want to test out the Mega Monarchs, I haven't really gotten the chance to really test them out too much, and uh, yeah, I can't wait uh, to see what this one's going to do, and again, it seems a little situational, and I uh, can't wait to see what uh, Caius is going to end up turning out to be as well. I, I think a lot of people, though, are, are in that boat as well. El Shadal Shekhanaga, and uh, let's see, I believe it is a uh, level... 10 monster, earth, and uh, 2,600 attack, 3,000 defense. It requires a uh, 1 Shadala monster and 1 earth monster to fuse into it. And its effect is, must first be fusion summoned during either player's turn. When a monster with special summon activates its effect, if you have a Shadala card in your hand, negate the activation. If you do, destroy it. Then send 1 Shadala card from your hand to the graveyard. You can only see the effect of El Shadala, Shekhenaga, 
uh, once per turn. If this card is sent to the graveyard, you can target one Shadal's Power Trap in your graveyard, add it to your hand. Of course, this is a new fusion for Shadal's. It is, I guess, their Earth uh, fusion that they're going to be having. And uh, yeah, it has actually a pretty cool effect. You're able to, of course, so you get rid of one of your Shadal's from your hand, and you can negate the activation of a special summon monster that gets its effect on, you know, and then this can even happen either player's turn, which can really come in handy. You just send the Shadal card from your hand to the graveyard as well, which, of course, you know, works well with Shadal's. Not only that, of course, uh, you can only use that once per turn, but uh, when this is sent to the graveyard, you can target a Shadal Spire Trap in your graveyard and add it to your hand. And uh, again, this actually makes me want to try out Shadals even more. They look like a really interesting art type, a very powerful art type, I should say, actually. And uh, I can't wait. I, I really like the way this card looks, too. I think it looks freaking awesome. And let's hope that maybe they change that name, though, as they probably will in the translation, because it will be a lot easier for me if they did. But yeah, what do you guys think about these three cards? Do you think Which one do you like the most? Do you think you do more cool? I can't wait for the new hero card, mainly. It's the, probably the main card out of the whole set now that I'm the most excited about, to be very honest. And I'm hoping that we're going to get it sometime very soon. As And, of course, the uh, Hero Strike Structure Deck. People keep asking me on the release date. I have no clue on that. Uh, we don't even know yet again if that's even going to be coming out for us just yet. Although, you know, we can kind of assume it will. And uh, I, I can't wait. That's the one I'm mainly hyped about. But yeah, tell me what you guys think, of course. Thank you for watching. Make sure to come right and subscribe. I'll leave me in the description. And like I said, we'll have the anime review tomorrow as I'm kind of running behind on a few things. Thank you for watching. I'll catch you guys later. See ya.